saying out loud, that's not going anywhere, after you've finished tying something to the roof of your car. Or any time we use a ratchet strap. Revving the power drill before using it. Clicking tongs to make sure they work before using them on the grill. Pressing trigger on drill twice before using. Dot. Poking a fire with a stick. Dot. Not throwing away a random piece of wood, so that we can use it to stir paint. I have a huge pile of paint stirrers just waiting for their shot. Shiny smooth rock. Gonna throw its shiny ass into a lake and pray to the lake gods for as many skips as possible. Doing a couple of back pats while giving a bro a hug. The back pats are very important when hugging your bro just to keep it masculine. You can tell us that there are an infinite amount of stars in the universe stretching all across galaxies that we will never see and we'll believe it. Dot. Put up a wet paint sign? We'll touch it just to be sure. Well it might have dried since the sign was put up. We have to make sure. Being given some alone time. I enrolled in a professional program where I spend $1,000 on multiple choice tests and a minimum of 300 hours studying so I can get some extra alone time. Buying the same kind of shoes after the first pair wears out. As I've gotten older I've started to do preemptive strikes. Find a pair of shoes I like? Go back and buy a pair to put in the closet. Find some new gotch I like? Buy six more pair, etc. Reaching up and touching a door frame or exit sign or anything slightly above head height. Touching? I smack that thing. I'd hate to be a stop sign on a quiet street. Throwing trash into the bin from as far as possible. Yelling, Kobe, rip. And holding your wrist in the finished position of a throw, whether it goes in or not. Touching those giant concrete balls that are just outside of big grocery stores. Carrot, the ones to prevent cards going into pedestrian walking areas. Lol or trying to jump over one when no one's looking. Having daydreams of fending off muggers. Saving the world. Arbitrary glory and being amazing dancers. Edit. Did not expect this to get so many replies. Thank you guys laughing face. I this one time I spent a whole hour at work daydreaming about being this amazing superhuman. Doing the most amazing shit. When I came back to reality, it hit me real hard. I'm just average, and the rest of the day was shit. I felt so mediocre for the next eight hours. Until. I came home. My dog jumped up and asked for cuddles and was super excited to see me. Then I got to the kitchen and my GF was struggling with a jar of pickles. I opened it and saw her eyes light up in the most beautiful way. I felt like a hero again. Then my boss dropped a bunch of files on my desk and I was back at work. No dog, no GF. Fuck my life. Picking up a nice stick when out on a walk in the countryside. But if I find a nicer stick I immediately ditch the first one for the new one. Kicking a rock down the street. Dot. And then getting sad after missing it and having to leave it behind as you walk back home all alone. Ashamed and disappointed with what you did. Find a kickable rock. Kick it a few times option 1. Kick was too powerful and now the rock is too far away or unreachable. You feel miserable because you did not control your power but strong. Option 2. Someone has watched you. Return to your, just a normal man walking the street, form. But wait, you just passed the rock. Your foot moved next to it and you did not touch it. You feel horrible but you don't want to feel childish in front of others. Option 3. You miss the kick. If you turn around you feel like a loser so search for another one. Option 4. Reach destiny. Park your deserved rock in a place that do not annoy anyone. You are fucking happy for the rest of the day. A rock minding its own business next to a lake. Dot. Asterisk asterisk wow. 2k up votes thank you bros. All flat rocks are going in. Giving a burger a little flip on the grill even if the burger doesn't need to be flipped. And doing some test clicks with a pair of tongs. Once you become a dad, it's hard to describe the joy of the first time your kid says, I'm hungry. Because I swear some primal beast inside your soul flips a switch, nods with a thumbs up, the green light on your panel comes on, a faint turbine whine begins to ramp up, 
the collective totality of every male ancestor you have leans forward in anticipation from beyond the void, and you deliver your very first deadpan delivery of, Hi Hungry, I'm Dad. Hi Thirsty, I'm Friday. Wanna go out Saturday and have a Sunday? Having to adjust my balls every five minutes. Waking along and sometimes you just have to take that long, slightly sideways step. Rushing to the aid of someone who has difficulty opening a jar. HTTPS colon slash slash u2 dot be slash 5 pwg 6 rlc dot closing parenthesis. Hilarious. Answer a toy phone when it's handed to them by a child. Pretending to be dead when a child shoots with a fake gun. A little longer in bed than we should be sleeping. Get out of my room you creepy pervert. Free stuff. What is it? I don't know, but it was free. Does it work? I don't know, but it was free. What are you going to do with it? What part of, it was free, are you not understanding? You're losing money if you don't take it. Seriously, though, hoarding runs in my family so I frequently have to consciously turn down free stuff. Being given attention, and interest shown towards our hobbies. At work I was trying to fix a machine and the female operator just silently observed what I was doing. Sent tingles down my whole spine, which I found weird because I don't find her attractive, but the way she just observed what I did while I got the machine back up and running. Damn, cocaine go home. A girl in a sundress. Those damn sundresses have magic powers I swear. There is hardly anything as beautiful as a woman in a long dress not even the sunrise not even the geese flying south in the long V formation in the bright freshness of early morning. Bukowski. Thighs. Thighs and thigh highs. Genuine physical intimacy of a non-sexual variety, like men just don't get enough hugs or even just pats on the back. I'm a big, burly white guy. I used to work with a big, burly black guy, but not all the time. When we saw each other we gave each other a big hug. I don't work there anymore, goddamn I miss those hugs. A pint in a beer garden on a sunny summer's afternoon. We sat and drank it and felt the sun on our shoulders, and not even the expression of half amusement, half contempt on Hadley's face, as if he was watching apes drink beer instead of men, could spoil it. It lasted 20 minutes, that beer break, and for those 20 minutes we felt like free men. I have to click my tongs twice before using them on the grill. Also double tap that spatula on grill grates. 1. Not to step on lines on a sidewalk 2. Just stand there and see a ditch being dug 3. Slapping a big bag of something at a superstore. I had to hide far too many comments before I saw slapping a big bag. I'm not allowed to go be near pet food in stores lol. I don't know why but my brain just tells me I have to do it.